The Ducati V4 Superleggera was released in 2020 and has quickly become one of the finest Ducati models on the market. Ducati is known for making cool motorcycles and many have come to expect no less from the brand. But why does the Ducati V4 Superleggera cost so much? I'll give you 5 reasons. Let's find out in today's video. My top 5 reason why the Ducati Superleggera cost so much is because there are only 500 made in the entire world. The Ducati V4 Superleggera is only available in limited production numbers which already makes it a very exclusive bike. It is a performance modified machine, so making 500 of these homologates it for motorsport. And because only 500 are made, this makes the cost of buying a Ducati V4 Superleggera quite pricey and shows that it's practically a road legal racing bike. Its limited appeal makes it all the more exciting though and considering the work and high technological developments, the vehicle is bound to be incredibly expensive. My top 4 reason why the Ducati costs so much is because it's very lightweight. The word Superleggera does translate into super light in Italian and this reflects just how lightweight the Ducati is, being made out of titanium and carbon fiber. The bike isn't exactly going to be heavy. This fits the performance-based vehicle and makes it all the better for riding and racing. Weighing just 350 pounds or 159 kilograms as standard and 335.5 pounds or 152 kilograms when equipped with a racing kit. The vehicle is completely lightweight throughout and there has been a huge effort to make sure that there's no extra weight where it isn't required. As such, the lightweight materials and its performance boost from them make the Ducati all the more exciting and thrilling to drive enhancing its price levels and desirability. My top 3 reason why the Ducati costs so much is because it's the most powerful Ducati road bike. The V4 Superleggera is the most powerful and lightest motorcycle that Ducati has made for the road. Combining the lightweight of the Ducati with 234 horsepower, the bike is outstanding. The 234 horsepower comes with a race kit and even though the construction of a bike often takes a bit of horsepower off, it still manages to come with around 200 horsepower, which is incredibly outstanding. In sheer terms of power, the Ducati is great for racing and its high technology levels make it all the better to enjoy. Being the most powerful Ducati ever isn't a small estimation by any means and it's quite the achievement. My top 2 reason why the Ducati costs so much is because of its biplane wings. What? I know it's ugly, I agree, but of course, racing bikes aren't meant to look beautiful. They're meant to go fast and only fast. The biplane wings on the Ducati are pretty big. They allow the motorcycle to produce more downforce than the GP20 MotoGP motorcycle and they really help the aerodynamic abilities of the vehicle. When the motorcycle is going 168 miles per hour, the wings produce around 11 pounds of downforce which is definitely considerable and shows how Ducati has improved the motorcycle over previous examples. Indeed, it is able of producing more downforce than the Panigale V4 that has a single wing setup and the motorcycle is great at remaining stable. The downforce only increases at higher speeds too, making the Ducati able to keep up with what the driver wants it to do. As such, the downforce and cool biplane wings make the Ducati one of the best of the best when it comes to performance-based motorcycle. But the one reason why the Ducati costs so much is because of its clever engine. It is a very smooth engine and the upshifts in the engine are practically instant. Power is so easy to increase and drivers can get it going fast incredibly quickly, especially on the racetrack. A complicated engine wouldn't be the best in the Ducati as the clever and smooth engine makes drivers feel completely at ease, allowing drivers to have a fully smooth experience. As such, the Ducati is definitely worth its price and it competes so well under Ducati models and it is truly one of the best performance motorcycles on the market. So guys, if you like today's videos, make sure to press the like button, make sure to press the subscribe button if you want to follow me on my journey of loving motorcycles, and make sure to press the notification bell. Don't press none. Adios.